What do you think you're doing? That's for the pigs. <laughs> Man, these animals have no boundaries. No respect. But the pigs are waiting for us. Good morning, girls. Good morning, modern stutters. Man, it is a beautiful morning this morning. <laughs> Shh. I don't know if you can hear that crazy bird in the background, but I don't know what it is. You hear that thing? You girls are getting huge. And that's a compliment. That's not a bad thing. <coughs> Mister, if you're gonna crow that loud, go somewhere else. Are you teasing him there, Figaro? Or is he teasing you? Well, this is it's not supposed to rain for quite a few more hours, but I don't believe them. It seems like it's gonna stop raining any minute now. I guess I better spin my leg around. was not good. But for some reason the board stayed where I wanted them. Even though I broke my ratchet strap. The worst part about that is this end's too short now. Now when I build projects, I try to design them around materials we have around the house. This right here is a floor joist that we cut out when we put the stairwell into the basement. So we're gonna use this for the next step. We've had these lying around for three years now, it's, or more. Actually, we've had these lying around for more than three years now. So it's nice to be able to finally put a use to them. I have one more nine foot section like this. It cuts all the way through the plywood center, but it leaves a little bit to be cut on the two by threes.
not looking too promising. What are you doing, mister? Had to run to the store and get a few more 2x4s and I picked up some hay while we were out. And now I already got chicken in the back of my truck. What the heck? Uh, what do you guys want, huh? What do you want, Andy? starting to rain. You have to go inside for a little while now. I don't know if it's the same chicken that's always trying to get in the back of my truck or not. Go ahead, get out. What are you doing? You ladies are crazy! Think you're a mountain lion? Believe it or not, this piece of tin is the cover piece of tin that they covered the tin when we ordered it for the house. I'm just pulling everything out of that shed. Well, that's all I have time for today. I put the wide roof on it because goats don't like the rain and they don't like the snow. So I'm hoping that overhang will help them be able to eat outside. The rail's going like this and the height difference is the goats can get up here with their feet, stand with their two feet, put their head in, get down, bend down and eat and they can't get their head out while they're eating. I was doing some research about goats and all that fun stuff and this style feeder popped up. 
I haven't seen one built exactly this way. It has a little few modifications to it. I hope it works, but goats are very messy eaters and they're always putting their hay all over the place, but they're picky. Once their hay, their feed touches the ground, supposedly they don't like to eat it. So in this style of feeder is supposed to help keep the feed in the feeder so they don't make such a mess and you don't waste so much food. <laughs> we'll find out, I guess. We'll find out in two more days. <laughs> So I still need to put some boards on this side, at least halfway up, so that way the goats can't come over and eat from the side. We'll have to do that tomorrow. And then I did the slants going this way on the side closest to us, the side furthest away going that way, just because I thought it looked kind of cool when you're looking through it.